waiting the creek for big bull wells. A satellite bull decoy on the front of my bow. Walking the waters of Wyoming for giant bull elk, for giant bull elk, for giant bull elk, for giant bull elk. A satellite bull decoy on the front of my bow for giant bull elk, for giant bull elk, for giant bull elk. Wading waist deep in a beautiful creek chasing giant elk with a homemade satellite elk bull decoy affixed to the front of my bow with twigs for antlers. That's the picture of poetic craziness, weirdness that we're gonna talk about today. You know, Indians used to make decoys and out of anything they can get their hands on, try to fool the wild games. And I'm trying to do that too, because this hunt is about trying to fool a bull elk, a dominant bull, and let him try to charge me the satellite bull. Well, I found an old elk decoy that was a cow, and I went and found some old sticks that kind of looked like elk antlers. Went on a walk about, found all these sticks. They kind of look like elk sheds. I'm trying to make like a, you know, like a, I add some antlers to my, to my cow decoy over there that's on my bow. I can just throw some, you know, antlers on her. And I started to kind of spray paint them and chisel them with my knife and try to make them look like elk antlers. And I think I'm on to something. And now I just gotta get a matching pair and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to sheem it a little bit. That way it kind of gets the natural elk colors. Because if I have enough zip ties to put this whole apparatus that, uh, that of my arts and crafts work on the front of my bow, and then if I cut a hole in the decoy, I think I can make something genius out of this. I'm doing a lot of whittling. I think I might be a wood carver now. So I think we got a good little satellite bull to add to that heifer over there. So let's get on that. And then I can go wade around our creeks and try to get an elk to come in to fight me in the creek. And I think I'm on to something here. Just gonna run it by Big Bill to give it the smell test. All right, Dad. Dad, I'm gonna do the test. I just need your opinion real quick. You think it's gonna work? Yeah, I think it'll work. I know. But... You think it will? Yeah. Any yeah. suggestions? No, I think only only suggestion guy you need to pick up those sticks you got in the yard. <laughs> that's that's not sticks. That's elk sheds. How they stain in there? Yeah. Forty-seven zip ties. Hey, you want to feel how solid? Don't break it. Don't break it. Crazier things have happened. And we got a post bill, wake up from a nap, bad mood, says it's okay. I just got to pick up all those sticks in the yard. I'm going to go do that right now. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot tougher than I thought to wade through the creeks and try to hunt elk holding like a satellite bull decoy with tree branches for antlers. It's You're getting hit by sticks, knocking off the antlers. The elk are busting us. They're seeing us, they're smelling us sometimes. It's just tough. I didn't realize how hard it would be to tote this monstrosity decoy I built on the front of my bow. In fact, I think I knocked the antlers off. My zip ties didn't work.
but I'm on elk and I cannot believe I heard one bugle right around the bend of the river. I gotta get in the river and start crawling at it, wading at it, and hopefully he thinks I'm just another elk that just wants to join the party. By the way, this is safe. We're on private grounds. I mean, I'm, it's not the safest, but it's not like I'm doing anything that's crazy. You know, I, I'm wearing my hunter safety shirt. I'm a safe-minded person, but if a bull elk comes and I shoot him, the likeliness of him to continue to charge is very slim. So I'm just saying I feel safe. I'm on private property and it's archery season. So don't be all like, you're an idiot. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. I'm not that crazy. I just love to do things that are a little different outside the box, okay? So work with me, work with me. And we're gonna go get this done. And I need the right situation to happen. And we're getting out there early in the morning. It's freezing cold. Thank God I got these little G-Tech hand warmer pouches. I can stick my hands in. They're fired up, the battery, and it heats up my hands and I'm able to keep going whenever it's freezing cold holding a metal bow. Because normally I hold my bow with a bow swing, but you can't with this thing because it'll the antlers will hit. It's a, it's a process to hunt with this thing, and we're about to hopefully get on this bull that we heard bugle near this uh, harem of cows. preparation, flying out all the way to Wyoming, wading creeks for days, that my first shot at a giant elk, I grabbed the wrong pin. 
I sailed it. That, that elk wasn't but 40 yards, and I grabbed my 50-yard pin like an idiot. And I am distraught, and on top of that, I find out that they already make a decoy like this that's much more lightweight and easier to do than what I built. It's an ultimate predator gear stalker decoy. You can look at it, but I'm, I've already built this and have so many zip ties, I'm gonna keep going with what I got. I'm finishing this hunt. I will do days and days and weeks carrying this 10 pound thing I built on the front of my bow until I get it done. So now I gotta practice. I gotta shoot my bow. I got a new expedition bow. Got the targets out there and it is shooting on the money. And now all we have to do is go get wet, get in the creek and wade around. And hopefully the elk are on the bank of the creek and the stars align to where a bull wants to fight me, you know, while I, hide behind this decoy in the creek. So, very important, we pull up hunt stand. We're BLM public land is right there. So, Bureau of Land Management, we're on our property. And we got elk right near our neighbors. And uh, we got to navigate by using exact property lines. So hunt stand, hopefully, it's going to keep us out of trouble and put us right on the elk. Just the wind's perfect. We got everything we could use. We got everything we need to have fun. I feel like I've walked and walked in a creek that I'm becoming one with nature. I just saw a cow bust out and I heard a bugle. We gotta just get around this corner. I'm just gonna turn on tight the game just in case, okay? Yep. You ready? Yep. Gotta get around this corner and if he's there, I don't know what's gonna happen. I have never dreamt that I would round the corner and see a herd of elk in the creek with me with a bull elk feeding on the bank and they think I'm just one of them. This is my chance. The time has come to take the big bull down behind my little makeshift satellite elk bull decoy.
Dieu, bravo. 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 Guys, I cannot believe what God has brought into my life, you know. I think we need spot in antlers. Over there, a hundred yards from the side. And to, to retrieve this bull and, you know, to be holding him, my dad was there. He's trying to take pictures. You know how dads are. They can never get a picture right. Oh, yeah, he's done. He is done, baby. He didn't go 100 yards. He's good for him. Golly. Heck, yeah. He's a great boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can you believe that? Oh. He got drop time. Oh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Hey. That exit went way behind where I thought it went in. He was cooked, y'all. Unbelievable. He was dead quick. Yeah, you nailed him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that sucker. That is un... I gotta give thanks to God real quick. I'm here with my dad. Oh, he's stiff. He's been, we gave him a couple hours. He's stiff. Yeah. But I cannot believe we rigged this decoy uh, right here. It almost stands up on its own sometimes if you get the right lean. And then we hid behind this thing. And oh, this, I cannot believe how big these animals are. I tell you what, he broke off his sword right here. Cool. He's a good, He's a good old bull, man. Oh, yeah. He's a good. Got some mass right there. Look at that. That's Look at the mass. Herd bull, huh? Well, he's the herd bull today. Yeah. Maybe. Wow. But that sucker, we rounded that corner and he gave us all the time we needed. And uh, this is the exit, because we hit him right in front of the shoulder or at it. I don't know how I got that much penetration, but he didn't go far. It's always fun to celebrate the harvest because the work that you put in to get that, no anti-hunters or non-hunters will ever understand the work that goes behind hunting, and especially archery hunting. And, but we know how hard it is, and we know how good that backstrap taste, especially unfrozen backstrap. From ranch to table right there, partner. Straight out the fire into the... Mmm. Not bad, huh? How is it? Mmm. Hey. I mean, still smoking. We cut that tenderloin out, barely seasoned it, and me and Bill are celebrating, high-fiving. Just enjoying the, the most precious renewable natural resource which is our wild game protein that we get to enjoy that we took out on our own ranch and uh, I just got to thank God for that and all of our sponsors because without the sponsors that 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 support us then we can't build these videos as quickly and as good as we can and y'all are helping our hunts y'all are helping us be more lethal taking out more animals I mean helping us hunt more uh, comfortably, especially with that G-Tech hand warming pouch. There's even a special offer right now on them. If you want a discount on it, 
Look at this promo code. This is a discount code. Get your, your own G-Tech heated hand warming pouch so you can hunt in the coldest temperatures and your hands never get cold. It's battery operated. Awesome, awesome product. Pick up one of those and uh, there's even a hunt stand offer. Hunt Stand Pro will give you, that's another great sponsor. The greatest hunting app, especially out west, whenever you need to know all the property boundary lines and the 3D contour of everything. Hunt Stand's an awesome tool. You can get a discount here right now. So we just want to thank you for watching our craziness. This one tops the charts in my life that I will never forget this hunt. And it's all because of you and our sponsors that make it possible and the like good that. Lord up above. And I'm very thankful. But we're praying on up real quick. Just say, uh, Father, thank you so much for getting us out in Wyoming in the mountains. I mean, get to get to spend two weeks with my dad, ranch manager, Nick and his family, Zach, buddies. Uh, it's special. And uh, that's all we got to really be thankful for is time together. That's our most valuable thing. We get to spend time together with our loved ones and get to spend it in the most natural environment in the wild Wyoming mountains. That's special. So it's been a weird 2020 year, but elk season wasn't canceled. And uh, weird hunting for elk wasn't canceled. So, Father, I got to give you all the glory for this.